Welcome to Glasgow! Glasgow is the largest city in Scotland and there are so many things to do in Glasgow. The city is home to fantastic art galleries, historical National Trust properties, leafy green spaces, amazing street art, and a plethora of live music venues. Glasgow is perhaps not as well known as Edinburgh to international travelers, but the reward of visiting here is a less crowded city where experiences seem less rushed and more authentic. And there you go, the first stop of our adventure is in Glasgow and we left London Gatwick Airport on an early flight heading to Hello Glasgow. Guys. We're now in Glasgow. So we traveled actually recently in Northern Ireland, so we're here in Glasgow. So we're now gonna go to the arrivals area and we're very excited. This is actually the first leg of our adventure. I'll see you guys in this adventure in this vlog in Glasgow, Scotland. Glasgow is still sleeping when we arrived and it was also raining. And so we were searching for a restaurant or a cafe wherein we can have a proper breakfast here in Glasgow. So the trip is so unplanned. Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. It can be your adventure. So we're now actually out here in the streets in Glasgow and this is the second day, first day. It was raining the whole day so we opted to actually like have a rest in our accommodation and this time we're up and about and we're actually gonna explore more of Glasgow this time. Or this time we're gonna uh, go to some of the remarkable landmarks here in Glasgow that you can see. Glasgow is actually the gateway to the Scottish Highlands so it's actually very near in close proximity to Edinburgh to Stirling and to other neighboring Scottish uh, cities here in the north and of course we're just gonna be here for just a day like two days but yesterday of course we were uh, resting but today we're gonna give you a glimpse of how Glasgow is as a city on this vlog so better watch out be on your seats enjoy this vlog and be with us on this adventure and so our proper adventure in glasgow kicked off on the second day first day we were just resting on our accommodation just gaining so much energy for us to be prepared for our adventure in glasgow so guys we're finally now on our first landmark here in glasgow and as you can see on my back it's actually the kelvin grove Art and Gallery Museum, so imagine. So one thing that strikes me the most about this structure is that it resembles so much of the St. Anne's Church that we went into in Lithuania. Look! <laughs> what? Yes! Hi guys! Hi guys! Don't forget about Well anyway, yeah, so we're fast approaching on this uh, landmark and I'm gonna let you see how this one looks like inside it. We're now ready to enter Kelvin Grove Art and Gallery Museum. So it's for free and it actually like features a lot of exhibitions and a lot of artworks that relates to the history of Scotland and Glasgow. So let's go inside and let's check it out. Wow, what a museum. Imagine the moment that we entered, I've actually like seen the best ceiling that I could ever see in my adventure. So 
guys, imagine all the collections that we found here in this museum in Kelvin Grove. So imagine guys, the one that we found here, the artifacts and all the exhibitions and also the displays here in Kelvin Grove Museum is actually top level. I would say this is actually uh, one of the best places that we've been here in Glasgow and um, it's very neat. I've never thought that Glasgow has amassed a lot of artifacts uh, in its for so many years be on display for a lot of people to see and explore. Yeah. I hope you found Kelvin Grove Art Gallery and Museum to be very interesting and also enjoyable the same way that we did when we entered this museum for the first time here in Glasgow. So guys, before you continue to hit the play button, don't forget to click the subscribe button on my channel, It Can Be Your Adventures, to get hold of my life here in London and anywhere else in the world. And also, don't forget to click the bell button to receive further notifications in all the vlogs that I'm going to produce in my channel. And also, I'm going to take this opportunity, guys, to thank you for all your support because we're actually growing steadily in my channel. And thank you so much for all of your support, guys. And hope you guys will still stay with me on this adventures that I've been doing in my channel and you guys right there. So can you guess where our next stop will be? So guys, now we're on our way now to Riverside Museum which is actually another remarkable landmark here in Glasgow. So it's actually sitting just on the mouth of Clyde River that flows in the entire Glasgow. So that's the main uh, river that flows here in the city. And so we're heading to that landmark after we've been to Kelvin Grove uh, Museum, which is actually equally fantastic and really enjoy the vicinity of Kelvin Grove Park. And the structures here, oh my goodness, Glasgow has got that unique uh, structures, architectural designs that you cannot, that you don't normally see actually in London or in England. All right, guys, so we've now finally reached the Riverside Museum. This one is actually the work of Zaha Hakim. It's a board with it. It actually houses uh, the Museum of Transport that was previously in Calvin, the one where we went earlier. So that's where Calvin was. And uh, the Museum features the Museum of Transport. So a lot of So finally guys, we're now fronting the south side entrance of the Riverside Museum and look at the structure. Isn't it amazing? And also opposite that one, there lies the tall ship that sits here in Clyde River. And of course, this actually shows that Glasgow is actually the heart of shipbuilding here in Scotland. As you can see, the he as you can hear the bell coming from the tall ship. Structure. Riverside Museum is actually one of my most favorite museums in Glasgow for the fact that we are like time traveling when we saw all the displays of different cars in different historical timelines displayed in this museum. And the good thing about this museum is that it's for free, you don't need to pay anything and you get the best experience while you're enjoying the history of the place. That's one thing that I like about Glasgow is that all of the attractions and mostly attractions like museums here in Glasgow are all free. You don't need to pay anything and you get the best experience in each landmark or in each place here in Glasgow. Can you see behind me? Imagine all these collections of different vehicles from different historical timelines. Oh my goodness! Wow! It's actually one of the museums here in Glasgow that is one of my favorites now. 
Amazing. After a whole day of touring around different museums in Glasgow, it's time now to head back to the heart of the city in St. George's Square. Alright guys, so we've now finally reached the heart of Glasgow, which is the George Square. So we're now finally here, as you can see, it's actually uh, the heart of Glasgow. So you can see a lot of uh, structures here, a lot of monuments um, that has been very significant in shaping the history of Glasgow and whole of Scotland. And as you can see at the back, look at the structure, amazing. Our adventure in Glasgow may have come to a close, but I hope that you've gained something, enjoyed our brief adventure in Glasgow, and I hope that we will be back again soon to discover this magnificent city in Scotland. So there you go guys, we're now finished with Glasgow and we're heading to the next Scottish city which is Inverness and I hope you guys have learned something and enjoyed our mini adventure here in Glasgow. If we made this adventure fun and exciting, it can be your adventures! Bye!